Hey, Miss Sandy here. Um, just gonna put a little video out for you. Been a lot going on around here. Uh, a lot of busyness, a lot of illness. Um, my husband had to have some pretty drastic uh, skin cancer surgery done. And uh, we've had some graduations, we've had grandbabies, and um, our kids have come to visit and helped us out with things and more graduations to come that we're getting ready for. So just a lot going on. And um, just wanted to say, hey, let you know, I'm still here, um, happy to be here. But anyway, I'm going to put this little video out for you. Now, um, I will say, because I'm obsessive about these things, I had on some clothes that I usually wear to um, clean and just mess around the house. And um, I had been washing dishes or something. I don't know. It may have been something I cooked. But anyway, I have a stain on the front of my shirt. Now, you can choose to ignore it. Or you can do like I would do through the whole video and just obsess on that one place on my blouse. But either way, um, here we go with the video on how I feed my baby dogs their pills. And um, I would try to get them to come over here and say hey to you. But they're really afraid of this magic box that takes people's pictures and people speak from it. Uh, they actually... When you bring them up to it, act like it's not there and it doesn't even have any existence in their universe. So anyway, here we go. Let's get started on how to make your own homemade pill pocket so you don't waste all your cheese on that one baby that will not take her pills. See you in a minute. Hey, Miss Sandy here. Uh, well... It is allergy season, and our little doggie will be itching all summer long. She scratches till she bleeds. So we have to put her on meds from the veterinary. I think you can hear her out there. <laughs> uh, these, this allergy season has been rough on all of us. I'm having a lot of asthma and crazy stuff like that. I don't know. It's been a really allergy-ridden season. So... She will not take a pill. You can put it in the back of her throat. You can do every, all the tricks that I've ever used with any other dog. And um, it will not work. Just a second. I'm going to have to let her in. kitchen a little messy today um so i had try i basically was giving her a piece of cheese with it in it and if you know my doggies you know that you can't give one a piece of cheese without giving the other a piece of cheese and i told kim we're using all our cheese just to give this dog a pill so um we're gonna make pill pockets. Now, we bought some of these and they are expensive as all get out. They're called pill pockets. Uh, they're by Greenies. And uh, they work wonders. I don't know if you can see, but it's basically just a soft little yummy that you put the pill right there in the middle and then you squish it up around the pill and she takes a gulp. Just like if you put it in cheese or something like that. Um, I've used peanut butter before. It works great, but sometimes she'll even like, if you give her peanut butter, she'll lick all the peanut butter and leave the <laughs> pill. So today we're making pill pockets. Now the way I've been making these, it doesn't seem like much, but um, they go quite a ways and um, they're not that expensive to make. You can use for your ingredients. You can go all natural, you can go organic, or you can get whatever the heck you have in your house. It doesn't matter either way. So you start with a tablespoon of peanut butter. I use creamy because I don't want all those little pieces of peanut interfering with getting that pill in there real good. So then you add, look at me, I'm fancy. I got my ingredients. Oh. <laughs> 
I got my ingredients in these fancy little things. Now I got peanut butter on. Well, geez. It's not Gypsy Rose Lee, but let me entertain you. Okay. Tablespoon of water. <laughs> Three tablespoons of oats. They can be old-fashioned. I use quick oats because they kind of mush in better. And then the one tablespoon of peanut butter. And you just stir the life out of it. Not that it actually had a life, but anyway. For me, that's, it's early in the morning. Um, it's 10 o'clock, it's after 10, but I don't sleep at night. So let me get an additional spoon here to work this through. I imagine you could put it in your, little quick, quick, uh, you know, blender kind of thing or whatever. I, I personally don't want to wash my blender after this. I'm just going to mush it together. The water kind of gives a chance to give you a little more leeway getting the oats and the peanut butter before they start to swell. And I think it makes them more moist so they last longer. Now, I put these together and then I keep them in a baggie in the fridge. Just because, I don't know, I think if I get oats wet, you know, it's probably best to keep them in the fridge. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I imagine you could make this with a lot of things. But this is the quickest and easiest for me. It's almost stirred in now. The weather here in Georgia is beautiful today. The sun is shining. I love it when the sun is shining. And I'm probably going to go out and sit on my porch just as soon as I get this pill down to her little body. Okay, so then you just grab yourself a little bit, about that much. You make yourself a little ball. You can do more, less if you want. Uh, just however much you need for the pill. And then, now, I don't know. I think you could use a chopstick. You could use anything you want. My little finger is a itty bitty little finger. My hip may be big, but my hands are tiny. And I just stick my finger right in the middle of it and make the hole, just like that. Now you have a pill pocket. It may not be quite as beautiful as the one you see on the picture on the pill pocket thing, but this baby is gonna do the job and she's gonna eat it right up. Now I'll get her pill. Am I making you a pill pocket, GB? My little Dima Bima. And you just mush it right in. Pill is encased in yummy. I'm gonna get a little bit of this and give it to Billy at the same time. And um, I'll start with Zima because Billy's not here right now. Oh, yes he is. Let me turn this around. If I can figure out how to turn it around. Why can't I turn you around? Uh, let me turn it around. Okay, here they are. My little Billy Willie. His name is Billy Jack. They named him before we got him. They're both our, yes, our rescue babies. And then I have Zima. Zima Bima. I don't know. People give interesting names to dogs when they don't have to keep them. But anyway, we love her. And here's your pill pocket. Oh, yummy. And we don't want to leave the boy out, no. And there you go, her pill is in her belly. Oh, there was something on my floor there I need to pick up. <clears throat> yes, you just miss on mama's floor. I'm going to come right back at you, say a few little words, and we're going to be done for the day. Okay, so that's my version of a pill pocket to give my doggie her little medications. 
And I'm going to make the rest of those up and put them in the refrigerator so that I have them handy for every time she needs to take another dose of her medication. And that's twice a day, so um, that's when I decided I was gonna do pill pockets on my own was because twice a day of using those. I was having to tear them in half and make the pill fit in one half because Billy was offended and hurt if he didn't get some, so. Um, and they're just too expensive. I mean, it's not gonna break our bank, but I felt like it was ridiculous to spend that much money on them. So anyway, here around the farm, ha ha ha, we like to say it's always something. Have a great day.